Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this butterfly. He kind of looks like a moth, but he's still beautiful. He's super cute. Now I did spray fabric spray on his antennas and they're not completely dry. That's why they're kind of flopping. But once he dries, those antennas should stay right up. But those are always optional. You can leave those off if you want. He's really easy. Let me take a quick measurement of him. I'll do from that pico to that pico. Six inches. And let's do without his antennas down here to his bottom. Two and a half antennas makes him four. Um, how about uh, from the short side to the short side here? Just to give you an overall estimate. Four. Okay. So what can you do with this guy? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what can you do with him? He's super adorable. You can leave him as is and use him for decor. You can sew him on blankets, uh, shawls. Um, you can set him out, you know, just like I said, just for decor. Um, you can make wall art with him. You can sew him on bags. You can use him for whatever your heart desires. I think he's adorable and when mine his antennas are dried up um i think my daughter will probably hang mine on our wall in our bedroom so <laughs> he'll be well that he'll be wall decor so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to move him over since he's not completely dry and we're going to start on a new one okay so the yarn i used for him my butterfly slash moth i used a uh, big twist uh, by joann's it's a 100 percent four weight acrylic now you do not have to use this yarn um, in fact, you don't have to use uh, even acrylic. Uh, cotton works well, too, for these type of butterflies. Um, but uh, four weight is what I recommend you use. You can use smaller, but your butterfly will just turn out smaller. So, I mean, it really doesn't matter, I guess. But the color I use for him is aqua, and then I use the same brand in black. So that's for him. Now I'm going to show, I'm going to make another one, the exact same, but I'm going to use two different colors. I'll just go ahead and show you. I'm using the basic stitch in white, which is a four weight. And then I'm using um, Red Heart for his other color, Super Saber Jumbo. It's a medium weight for acrylic also. Um, and the color is called Starburst Print. Now remember, great scrap yarn project. You don't have to use full skeins like I did. Um, I don't even know why I did that, actually. But, <laughs> but let's get started on this. But first, you need to know that hook size, don't you? I'm going to be using a size I, which is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now, if you do decide to use a three-weight yarn, use a 5 millimeter. Just remember that your butterfly will be smaller. And you're also going to need some, this is uh, Stiff It Quick. It's like a fabric stiffening spray for the antennas if you want to use it. Um, I'll give you some other ideas. You can use like Elmer's glue and water and stuff like that. Um, don't even have to stiffen the antennas if you don't want, but that's, this is just what I'm using. So I'm going to start with my sol or my um, multi-colored first. So as you can see here, um, I used the blue first. So my black went here and then I edged it. And on this butterfly, I'm going to make my white go here and then I'll edge it. And white, you can, but you can do it any way you want. And you can also make him solid. It's your butterfly or moth or whatever he is. You make him how you want. But let's do this. It's easy. You can do it even if you're a beginner. So I'm going to show you how. As long as you know the basic stitches. Okay, so you start off with a slip knot on your hook. Now let's go ahead, go ahead and start with a chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're going to slip stitch into our very first stitch and we're going to form a ring. I'd like to put my middle finger through my ring like that when I slip stitch. That way I don't lose it like that okay now we're going to chain one now that chain one does not count as a stitch it doesn't count as anything so we'll just pretend like it's not even there now we're going to be working through the center of the ring so we're going to work three double crochets so just yarn over go through the center of the ring draw your yarn back through the ring and then do your double crochet as normal we need to do three so that was one two <clears throat> 
and there's three. And now we are going to do a chain of one, and then we're gonna do three more doubles into the center of the ring again. One, two, three, chain one, slide them on over, three more doubles again. So what we're doing now for round one is we're working three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, chain one, all through the center of the ring. And we wanna do that, and so we have eight sets of three double crochets with a chain one in between each one. So right now I have one, two, three. You gotta keep sliding them over and it will get crowded and it will look wavy. That's fine, it's supposed to do that. So if it gets wavy on you, that means you're doing, you're doing things okay. So it's one, two, three, chain one and I'm going to do it again so I'll meet back up with you when I have my eight sets of three double crochet okay I've made it to the end of round one I have my eight sets of three double crochet make sure you chain one after that last set and we're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet remember we don't go into that chain one remember he doesn't he doesn't count so go ahead and find your first double and slip stitch into it now I'm going to tie off my and change colors here. And remember, you can make them solid if you want. Solid butterflies are beautiful. Okay. Now, pull your tail a little bit. Close up that center circle a little bit. But then we'll sew it at the end to close it up even more. And you can see mine's wavy. Perfectly normal. Wouldn't be right if it wasn't wavy. Alright, now we're going to start. I'm going to start with a new collar. I'm going to bring in some white on mine. So you can start anywhere you want as long as it's in a chain one space. So any of these chain one spaces between your three double crochets works just fine. So I'm just going to pick this one randomly. I'm going to start there. So I'm going to pull my yarn through. And again, I'm going to chain one, which counts as nothing. So I'm going to be working back through this chain space. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work three double crochets, just one, two, and three, and then I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to go back into that same chain one space and work three more doubles. So there's one, two, and three. So what we've done there is in that chain one space, we worked three doubles, a chain one, and three doubles. And that's what we're going to work in every single chain one space all the way around. So we skip here these three stitches, and then you'll see we'll be at our next chain one space. I'm, just, I'm not going to chain one here. I'm just going to jump right over to it and work three double crochets. So there's one, two, three, chain one, go back in and work three more doubles. One, two, three. Skip these three doubles here, jump to the next chain one space, and work three doubles. There's one, two, three, chain one, go back in and work three more doubles. So I'm going to repeat this pattern for row two. In every chain one space, three doubles, chain one, three doubles. Remember, it's going to be all wavy and that's cool. So I'll be back up with you when we get back to our starting point. Okay, I'm coming to the end of row two and what I'm going to do is go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first double crochet here. And then I'm going to tie off and switch colors again. So let's go to slip stitch. Clip. And you should have eight of these sets here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we see it's super wavy. That's fine because we're going to be folding it in half. And we want it to be wavy. Okay. So now I'm going to bring in my new collar. and clip this tail off here that I hid while I was crocheting. Okay. I'm going to bring in my multicolored yarn now. 
And again, you can start anywhere you want. Pick a chain one space here and begin. I'm gonna start right here. I feel lucky starting here. All right, gonna go ahead and pull our yarn through. Again, we're gonna chain one, which does not count as a stitch. So in this chain, um, one space here, we are gonna work seven double crochets all together. So we're gonna go right into it and start and work seven. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is right here in this spot between these three double cro three these three double crochets and these three double crochets this hole here we're going to do a single crochet so just go right through it and single crochet like that now we're going to repeat what we just did so we're going to jump over here to this chain one space and we're going to work seven double crochets through that space so there's one two three four, five, six, seven. So there's my seven. And now this space right here in between this, these three doubles and these, these three doubles, single crochet. So just go right through it and work a single. And then that's what we're going to repeat all the way around. So I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to jump over here to my next chain one space here. And work seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and single crochet right here in this space just like that so i'm going to go ahead and repeat this pattern all the way around until i get back to my starting point all right i made it to the end of round three so i just did my single crochet there and in, in between these spaces now i'm going to end by slip stitching into my first double crochet and then i'm going to change colors again so i'm going to tie this yarn off Like that, you should have eight of those seven double crochet fans now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now we're going to single crochet it together. So first though, let's sew up this hole. So go ahead and use that tail that you have left over. What I do to sew it up is I kind of just go around like this and pull it tight until it closes itself up. See that when you pull it it just closes that right up and it hides the tail at the same time there we go now it's not even no hole at all i'm gonna go back the other way just to lock my yarn down there we go benito on that put that off Okay, now we're gonna sew it together. So the hole's gone, as you can see. So we're gonna take this piece that's all wobbly and we're gonna fold it in half. Like that. It's a pretty butterfly right now. We're gonna make them a little prettier, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to bring in, I'm going to bring in my white, but you can use whatever color you want. And we're going to sew him together. So let's start our yarn. 
right here. Um, so we have our piece folded together. This was our single crochet right here. Let's side it in. We're going to start our yarn in the side of it like that. See that? So when you open your piece up, you can see that you're kind of in the side of that single crochet. Go ahead and pull your yarn through and we're going to just chain one there. Okay, that's all we're going to do right there. Now what we're going to do is we are going to go into the next double crochet and then we're going to go to the, the next double crochet on the back side. Make sure you keep your double crochets lined up and we're going to single crochet like that. And we're going to do that over four double crochets. So that was one. Now we go into the next one on this piece and the next one on the back side and single crochet. So that was two that we worked over. Another one, the next one, and then the next one on the back side. That's three that we worked over. Okay, the next one, and then the next one on the back side. So that's four that we worked over. Now we're going to put a pico on this fourth one. Since we had seven, we are putting the pico in the middle stitch, which is the fourth one. So that's where we're at right now. So to do the pico, we just did that single crochet. We're going to go ahead and do a chain of three. One, two, three. Now some people pico by slip stitching back into that first chain. That's fine. You can do that. I like to go on the side through this loop here. It holds the pico down better. And then this loop here. Like that. And then I do my slip stitch. Like that. Now we're going to work, continue working. We'll have three double crochets left to single crochet into. So go into the next one on this piece. The next one on the next piece and single crochet so that was one two and that is three so we did that entire band stitch there oh that's adorbs all right so now we're going to go down and the single crochet and the single crochet on the back piece we're just going to slip stitch through those so we're going to go into the single crochet and into the single crochet on the back piece and do a slip stitch like that now we're going to repeat what we just did so we're going to work a single crochet into the next four double crochets making sure making sure you're going through both pieces because we're sewing it closed so there's one two, three, four, and this is where I'm going to do my pico on the fourth one, so I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and then I like to come down and I go through this first loop of the single crochet, and then I go down through this side loop of it like that and slip stitch and that creates that little ball that we call pico see that now we're gonna do we have three double crochets that remain one two and three so we've completed that shell oh. and now we have these single crochets here so we're going to slip stitch them so we go through this one and then the back one and slip stitch so this is what we're going to repeat we got two more to go and so we get over here now i'll meet you back up over here and i'll show you how we're going to finish it off okay i'm coming around here and i just finished my last single crochet here and now we're going to go into the side here like we did over here so this is a single crochet but what we're going to do is we're just going into this little side of it and slip stitching 
So go right through it like that. Slip stitch it. Tie off. High tails. Oh, I think he's so cute. Oh, he's so pretty. Okay, so let me go ahead and hide any tails that I have. I went ahead and hid this one as I was going. Oh, I like him a lot. All right, I'll just go ahead and hide this one real quick. Now, you can leave him as is if you want. You don't have to put antennas on him. That's fine. Um, I'll go ahead and show you how to put antennas on him since I put antennas on my other one. So, <clears throat> there's a few different ways that you can do it to make it, it, it stiff, the antennas. Okay. I love it. I do. Okay, I'm going to make his antennas. Um, hmm. What do you guys think? I don't really want to use black. I'm going to use white. I'm going to make him some white antennas. Hey, he's fictional. He's just a fictional butterfly. Okay, so take. I'm going to take a piece of yarn. I'm going to cut a little bit longer off than that. Our needle. And this is really easy here. I just pull it through. I go through where we kind of sewed up on one side. It's kind of hard because it's sewn so tight. So you can see there's the circle. Go right on the other side of it. If you can. Probably the hardest part here is you're getting it pulled back. <laughs> getting it equal and back through. You don't want to go up through the center, but on the other side of it. Let's see how this looks. Okay. What's going on here? Okay, you can see if if you think that his antennas are good enough for you. If they are, you can cut them down to the size that you want them. Okay. Now, I'm going to be... You can use uh, a lot of things. You don't even have to stiffen them if you don't want to, but I'm going to. And like I said, you can leave them off too. Um, I'm going to use this quick and stiff stuff, but also you can use like Elmer's glue and water and, you know, kind of, or hodgepodge or something like that and kind of, kind of paint it on there and then make sure you do a little bit, put a little bit right here to hold it in place. So for the spray start stuff or whatever this is, spray fabric stuff in there, I'm going to put it on a piece of plastic like this and I'm going to douse him down with just up here and then right in this area here i'm gonna get him here there's some down here get him really soaked up and then i'm going to lay him out on since there's so much on that lay him out on something else another piece of plastic or something that he can just dry on don't ask me how i can just pick up garbage off my floor but for some <laughs> i can all right so you lay him out here to dry and you fix his antennas the way that you want him to dry and sometimes with this fabric spray you have to do it a couple times so i almost think it might be better to use elmer's glue i like to use elmer's glue or even yeah elmer's glue i mean i would say you could probably use hot glue dab a little bit in there if you wanted to but that's just what i use now, if you want a fabric spray or stiffen the whole thing, you can do that. But I think he looks great. So that's it. What do you guys think? He's super cute. I like it. I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Um, if you make this, please show me a picture or anything, you know, that you make uh, within the fiber arts uh, on Instagram. Come give me a follow and hashtag me at Bag of Day Crochet. I'd love to see it. And also, I mean, the combinations with these little butterfly moth things are endless, especially with the scrap yarn. And I'd love to see what you make. So don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thanks everybody for watching, okay? Have a good day and stay safe. Bye guys.